Hi there. Welcome to the project three file systems of uh, operating system. So in this project, we're going to talk about how I can write a implement a user space file system daemon using the Fuse API to access data in a WAD file. So uh, WAD is a commonly used file type uh, using games like Doom. So um, for our sake, we're writing a user space. We're developing a library to um, present WAD data in a data structure we call a uh, WAD. So um, in this library, we write uh, I named our object uh, WAD here, and then a assistive object called descriptor, which is uh, basically functions like a node. Um, so what we do is we take in a log file, we look at the headers, um, record the number of descriptors, magic numbers, and uh, the descriptor offset. So uh, we're going to um, read them byte by byte. So before all that, we implement the load log file, uh, where we read in the actual binary um, a byte at a time and put them into a byte array, uh, to a byte pointer called pdata. And then this pdata is stored as a member variable of wad. So in wad, um, we will loop through all the descriptors um, and if this uh, descriptor has a length of zero, uh, we know this descriptor corresponds to a directory. And um, we're going to parse the name a little bit because, I'm, because our directory is either a um, underscore start or a em directory. So for each case, we're going to track when this directory end with, um, for the start and end directory, we just check if the, um, if the ending is end with this. And then if it's a enm file, we just set up a counter. And then for each time we access its um, file, the counter decreases to one. And until the end, we uh, close, we exit the directory. So this wad objects constructor is how we set up the path for each descriptor. Um, and once we initialize wad, um, we can quickly get the magic number, check contents. So we so we iterate through the vector of all descriptors, and then we see if the path for each descriptor matches what path we're looking for. So if it has a length more than zero, it has contents. Otherwise, it's a directory. And then get size. So uh, get contents. We copy the, the the contents into this buffer. And the most annoying part is the get directory method. So um, the reason why this creates problems is because uh, we don't want to include files in the subdirectories. So uh, every time we check the prefix of the string path and then see if it matches, then it belongs to, um, it is part of this directory, but it could be uh, in one of its subdirectories. So we just need to check whether the remaining part of the string contains, immediately contains the slash, um, which indicates the subdirectory. And then we also have to edit the names out, so make sure we don't have that, uh, underscore start in the name of the directory. So let's see um, this program in action. Um, I have some common commands here. This one sets up the layout of um, our sample.wad. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to make library. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll be good to go. So um, as we can see, this um, this wad file has three layers. We have a EM file and then this three layer directory with an image, cake image in the middle, and then we have a text outside. So uh, this also works with the Doom file, which is much bigger. And we're going to demonstrate that. So as you can see, um, this Doom file is running correctly. So for the daemon part, I implemented this CPP file wad fs. So um, Fuse has this very interesting feature. It, automatically checks for every file. Um, you have get attribute, get read directory, read. Um, all these functions are defined here. And um, the part that I have to implement is uh, get attribute. So um, for a get attribute, we set the file permission uh, um, and other attribute for the file. So we just need to check, given a path, whether this file is a directory or it has content. So then the part I had trouble with was um, some of these paths include a, a forward slash at the end of the string. So I have to remove that to be compatible with my uh, wad object. So um, there's some trouble here, but eventually I um, debugged it. And then here, if it's a directory, we set the file permission to 0555 with read uh, with execute and read permission. And this means read only permission for a file that has uh, contents in it. So uh, read directory. Um, I also had the same problem where some of the path uh, does not have a slash, uh, despite being a directory. So I have to append a forward slash at the end for it to work, including a special case of uh, root directory. So once we have that, we just need to get direct call a uh, local function call um, get directory to load all the uh, all the um, entries in that directory directly into this vector named entries. And then we just um, fill in each entries to this, fill each entries to this buffer, which will display our um, um, our LS results. And then read, uh, just enable us to um, to cat a file, read the contents. So we just simply call get contents if, oh shoot, if this has any content. Uh, oops. So um, we're going to see that in action. Um, OK, I am going to compile this. OK, all right. And I'm going to mount, um, I'm going to mount sample wad onto this directory I called mount dir. So now mount dir has um, the directory layout of our sample wad, and I can easily see what these um, files contain with um, cd and nano. So uh, since these uh, files should be readable, I should be able to nano in there. Um, but we obviously can't write it because we didn't implement that. So that's why it's read only. Um, and that's about that. Um, I could um, unmount again to see if it works with the uh, the other wad file called um, doom. So we can just um, mount again, but this time with a different um, wad file. And doom is actually much bigger. So we can see that in mount dir, it actually has all these um, folders in them. And each of them has um, contents. And obviously, these are not meant to be read as text files, so I'm not going to bother reading them. 
And that's about it. Um, so thanks for listening and uh, hope you enjoyed and it made sense. You have a good one. Bye.